Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this new tutorial. So this is another FSpy tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interior scene. So this is a request by friend. So we're going to try to recreate this interior scene in Blender 2.8. Okay, so the first step to do is to install that FSpy add-on. So basically, we need to get the position of the camera that took this shot so that we can go ahead and build this scene. So in order, in order to get that uh, same position, we need to use the FSpy add-on. It's going to give us the position, the rotation of it, and also the focal length of our camera. Okay, so let's get down to it. I'm going to start off by downloading the FSpy program. So download it from over here. You can see that. So make sure to download, download this one. And also you need the, to download the, uh, the Blender add-on so that we can install it into Blender. So there we go, we have over here, we have the FSpy program, and here we have the Blender add-on, and this is our reference. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and run the, the software, the FSpy program, there we go. And after that, I'm gonna simply drag my reference into it, like this. And immediately you can see this, these axes. So we have two types of axes, we have the red axis and the green axis. So the red axis stands for the X, and the green stands for the Y. So what I would like to do now is to try to align these axes with the most obvious lines in my reference. First, let me animate this image, make it clear, just like this. So as I told you, I'm going to align it with the most obvious lines in my reference, such as this one over here, this one, this vertical lines. So also here we have these lines like this. So which lines should we follow? So based, it, dep it depends on these axes. So what I would like to do is to follow the X axis, it's gonna represent this one. And the Z axis is gonna represent this one. This is the vertical lines. So I'm gonna switch the Y to the Z axis. So this blue axis is gonna represent the vertical lines. And the X axis is gonna represent these horizontal lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and start aligning it. So if you want to zoom, hit shift while holding this one so that you can align it. I'm going to take it over here and make sure to align it to the floor, just like this. Same thing for the other axis. Going to put it right there. OK, so for the other, other, the other axis, I'm going to go to the extreme left. So as you can see, we have a variety of options. We can follow this carpet line on the floor. Also, we can follow this line, this black line over here. And also we have the possibility to follow some lines from the window. So in my example, I'm going to follow the line, this one, on the, on the floor, not the scene, something like this. OK, so as you can see, we set our X axis to be uh, correct. So now let's set our Z axis. So for the Z axis, let's see. So I'm going to try to follow these put this one over here and this one I'm gonna put it right into the middle same thing for this one except that I want to follow this line on my window let's put it over here and the other one let's put it over there there we go so as you can see this is our Z axis and this is our X axis also as you can see we have our Z axis pointed down which is not correct so we need to flip it we need to invert this axis. So in order to do so, you go to the Z axis over here and you switch it to the minus Z. And immediately you can see that. But another thing that I would I want to tell you about is, is the focal length. So immediately you can see that f the, the X axis is very slow, which is gonna result uh, a high uh, focal length. So in, in order to solve this one, so I'm gonna activate or switch this one to the manual like this. And you can see that we have this point over here. And I would like to make it a bit closer to that vanishing point. So now you can see that. So the more you make it uh, closer, the better. So you can see that our X axis now is, uh, is clear. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and save my file. So save as. I'm going to save it as interior interior scale just like this I'm gonna save and let's jump into blender and the first thing to do is to install this blender add-on so in order to install it go to edit preferences install and let me choose that file 
so f spy this one the blender blender this one blender sy which is the the add-on so double click on it and as you can see over here this model is installed and if you want to make sure that this uh, f spy add-on is installed correctly so go to file import and f spy we'll find this extension which means that your uh, add-on is installed properly so now what I would like to do first, let me delete everything. So A to select everything, X, and I'm gonna delete. Now I'm gonna go to file, import. By the way, this FSpy uh, add-on or FSpy file is gonna come with a camera. So there is no need to have uh, two cameras in my scene. So click on this FSpy and let's choose that file that we exported or we saved using the, the FSpy program. So double click on the ensure your scale and there we go as you can see now we have our camera and it's pointed right into that image so now all we have to do is to start creating that interior scene so i'm going to shift a mesh plane so you can see we have that plane over here so now i'm going to go to the edit mode first let me activate the shortcut keys so that you can be able to see the shortcuts so from this point, I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to move it to the left. Just like this. Same thing for the other axis. I'm going to move it over here. Immediately you can see that we have some alignment. Over here, as you can see, it's hard to select that X axis. So hit GX. GX. And let's drag it like this. Okay, so now let's uh, check these. Let's check. So as you can see, we need to move this one back. So GX, let's move it to something like this. Perfect. So now I'm going to select these two. These three, I'm going to extrude them up. Extrude E and Z. So that we can fix that movement on the Z axis. Just like this. Something like this. I'm going to hit F to fill that gap. And also I want to show you uh, how you can see through this image. You can see that our reference disappear. So in order to see beyond this cube, go to select the camera first make sure that you are selecting the camera go to this icon and enter the background images so change the depth from back to front and immediately you can see through that uh, cube which is good okay so now let's jump into creating these details so first i'm going to start with this thing over here so shift a or let's simply select the ground over here and duplicating it shift d right click and let's scale that down gonna move it over here also i would like to split my scene so go to this icon over here you can see this plus click on it and drag and you can see that we will have two windows so this one i'm gonna dedicate it for the view camera view and this one i'm gonna exit and work on that models so I'm going to drag this one over here and let's move it back just like that. Okay, I'm going to hit extrude, extrude this up, extrude, extrude Z, go up until I match that line. Over here we need to trim it just a bit. And I think the back, need, we need to keep it just like this maybe a little bit over it to make some room over that okay so we created that object so let's uh, let me work on it first i'm gonna select it and separate it hit p to separate selection okay so now let's work on it as you can see we need also to change its center of mass you can see that the center of mass is way beyond that uh, center of mass of our cube so i'm gonna go to object set origin and origin to geometry just like this and now i'm gonna go to the top extrude or uh, insert two edge loops Control r and scroll the mouse scale on the y like this also let's check check it from here so i'm gonna scale it on the y to something like this okay we need to do the same thing on the other axis so scale to something like this okay after that what i would like to do is gonna delete these faces or you know what let's do it the opposite way i'm gonna select the top faces 
just like this. So I'm going to revert the selection control E just like this so that we can delete the rest of our objects. And from here, I'm going to select everything and hit extrude just a bit down like that. And I'm going to select just these four blocks and I'm going to extrude them down, extrude like this. And you can see that we have that object. Also, I think that we need to bring this one down just a bit. Or you know what, let's keep it that way. Or let's take the top faces instead of the bottom ones and bring them up just a bit. There we go, something like this. Just so that we can increase or add some depth to it. Okay, so let's add that second layer. So I'm gonna select this one, hit Shift D, bring it down over here, extrude up like this. There we go. Also, we need to duplicate this one, or we can check it, check the top, Shift D, scale down, so you can add that extra object, just like that. Okay. Also, I think we have that third layer. Yes, so let's add it. Select this one, Shift D, and let's move it down. There we go. Okay, so now let's work on our second object. So let's work on this bed. So I'm going to hit Shift A, Mesh, Plane. So let me go inside. So I think, yes, so let's take, I'm going to grab this one. This plane, I'm going to move it over here. Let's start from this location. Gonna go to the edit mode, select this edge, move it to the side, select this edge, move it to the side over here, and let's select everything. Maybe move this one just like this. Select everything, hit extrude on the Z axis. Well, let's make that first part so you can see it over here. That first part. Extrude again, extrude Z, go up just like this and I'm gonna after that I'm gonna select these so all to select this rain of uh, faces I'm gonna hit extrude E I'm gonna hit right click scale shift Z like this so that you can scale this way okay let me go back zero so let's see I think I need to bring this one or scale it so let's scale shift Z so I hit scale shift Z so that I can eliminate the Z movement or the C, yes, the Z movement on the X axis. So let's scale it on the Z and let's bring it up just like that. For these, you can bring this line up. There we go. So now we start having something that looks similar to our reference. Okay, so let's uh, add first, let's duplicate this object, shift D gonna move it to the other side like this let's make sure it's aligned okay and over here let's add these things so I'm gonna select this face extrude or duplicate first separate it HP to separate and let me select just the top face how can I select that there we go I'm gonna go to the edit mode and let's extrude this up from here I'm gonna insert two edge loops scale shift Z just to add some depth to it select everything scale just a bit down let's move it like that okay from here I would like to add uh, the subdivision modifier so add modifier this subdivision and let's insert some edge loops so one has to be over here the second one on the other side and let's add these extra edge loops like this for this one let's move it to the left so double G G double times let's move it like this same thing for this double G so that we can slide that edge okay so let, let me increase that and I'm gonna hit object and smooth that surface there we go 
So now you can see that we have a nice carpet. Okay, so now let's add that uh, part. So I think we need to move this one. Or oh, let's scale it. You know what? I'm gonna go to the wireframe and I'm gonna select these. Gonna move them a bit over here. Okay, and I'm gonna select the bottom part. Select these. And maybe we can extrude or let's move it like this. Insert a new edge loop. Bring it over here. I'm gonna grab this edge and I'm gonna move it to the top. Extrude it this is a way as that. So let's extrude it up all the way to the top like this. And I think I need to make it thinner. So we're gonna move it over here and this one, let's make it like this. For this one, let's bring it over there. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna simply duplicate this one to create these uh, pillows. Let me first change that set of origin to the geometry to the, to the center over here. And let's try this. I'm gonna select just one face, extrude it, duplicate it, bring it up, scale on the X, scale down, extrude up. To about this high, let's separate it again. Object set origin origin to geometry and let's move it back. Gonna move it to the side over here. Let's check that position. Okay, so from now I'm gonna scale it even more. Scale it like this and go to the edit mode, insert an edge loop over here, and another one over here. Maybe we need to scale it a bit down. You can see in the middle we can insert, for example, two edge loops, bring it down like this. To have something that looks realistic. We can work on it even more, add that clothes simulation. But I'm gonna keep it just like this. Okay. Okay, so there we go, we have it. So now I would like to work on this window and we're gonna wrap up this tutorial. Okay, so let's insert edge loop right over here and another one horizontally, just like this. I'm gonna grab, first we need to insert another one. Let's make it that way. Yep, and I'm gonna select this face. But I think that we need to first make it look like this. Insert another edge loop over here and I'm gonna grab this edge, extrude it backward like this. Extrude and scale down. Okay. Okay, so let me add or duplicate, delete that face and let's bring the sun. Shift A, light sun. I'm gonna move it over here, let's try for example to move it like this and maybe scale it on the z-axis. Okay, so let's go to the inside. Over here, uh, I'm gonna switch to the cycle. Okay, and let me, let me repeat or bring that back to the front, to the back. Okay, so let's give it a render and see the results. Okay, nice. I think we have, we're having something that looks similar to our reference. Okay, so let me bring that reference. I'm gonna switch from here to the image editor. And from here, let's see that. Okay. We can also add that. Let's switch this one to the sky texture. Can increase that to something like tree or just uh, two. Okay, so there we go. So we successfully recreated that scene. So you can check it from here and create those textures to add more realism to it. So basically this is the, the how you can get the scale of your reference. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. 
and i'm gonna see you in the next tutorial take care